you hear me? Yep, can hear Very you. Very good. All right, how are you doing? Great, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, good to be here. I um, so I, I didn't want to scare everyone, but but uh, <laughs> the whole family got super super sick. Oh. Yeah, and so I uh, went to the doctor, and it was everything it was like sore throat, like congestion, coughing. That was just like it was just like everything. And the doctor was like, um, "You guys have uh, the croup." <laughs> oh, really? So, yeah, I didn't get sick. It was Margaret and the boys, but I mean, all four of them. I mean, they got slammed hard, like slammed. Croup. That's um, a, that's an old disease. I'm not even sure what that is anymore. It's like they said it's a para influenza, something like okay. that. Um, but it was just so Margaret. Oh my goodness, Lewis, to see like the mother of your children like tank. <laughs> like, like she was convinced we all have the, or not me, but they had the coronavirus. So yeah. it's been. A, crazy seven days <laughs> it's just been like oh, so, man. well you know. like you say the croup was much much more innocuous than that damn um yep uh, covid virus so um so that's a blessing and uh they're going to get their immune systems pumped up again with the croup and uh, yeah. They're running around the backyard right now, that full tilt, like laughing their heads off. <laughs> but two days ago, like, you know, one of them was on the couch, just like, I don't even want to talk about it, but just vomiting, vomiting. It was just like, oh. oh and, um, but now they're like all happy as can be climbing trees, running. It's just like, <laughs> uh, life is good. I mean, to tell you the truth, I was never really worried in the heart of it. I was like, yeah. they're healthy yeah. little kids. Like, yeah, yeah. But um, Margaret was just like having a hard time, which I, I get. I'm not criticizing her. Sure, sure. Um, so life is back to normal now. Everything's good. Good, good, good. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so thank God for and, that. Yeah. 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 And the uh, they took the test, and the COVID test came out negative for all of them. So good, good, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm back on track here, and uh, I'm ready to jump over. Should I start sharing the screen? Yeah, you know, I just sent um, just a few minutes ago. I sent another just just one picture of. Uh, Okay. Uh, of that one, um, I'm work. I, I I was still working on this. I'm having trouble with it, and um, actually, I've sold the painting pretty much already. <laughs> so nice. That's yeah, good. yeah, it is. It's um, I haven't sold one for a while. So you know, it's I have a friend who likes my stuff, and he says, "Oh, I want to get that for a friend who lives on that road." So yeah, that's uh, cool. So um, South Bay is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, Louis. Yeah. Um, I, I don't see a, a recent email that came through from you. Um, I, I got the email with uh, the eight images, but yeah. um, I didn't get anything subsequently. Uh, let me, let, uh, give me just one second. Maybe I screwed it up. Right, here, we'll try it. Because I think it's, it's I think, uh, here we go. Ah. Well, um, we we have a house full of people who are we're going to have a, a wedding this weekend. Really? And uh, it's going to be outside, and everyone is really anxious about it. And uh, it's um, uh, you know, it's just it's, it's a lot of a lot of craziness around it too. So, um, is it a lot of Italians getting ready? A for lot the of Italians. Everyone is you know off the wall and. Uh, it's it's kind of fun, but it's um, kind of crazy too. So, did I ever tell you uh, one time Margaret and I were talking, and it's like one of those you know, romantic like evenings you're out for dinner, and she's like, "If I ever died, would you ever get married again?" And I was like, "Well, the only thing I could say to that is, I would never have another wedding again." <laughs> <laughs> That was a bad answer. I was like, <laughs> like one, of those, one of those moments you wish you could undo it. Um, mm -hmm. I actually really yeah, I have it. a lot of those moments. Yeah, <laughs> I just I did not enjoy my wedding. I really didn't. I no, I yeah. just like it was, it was just. <laughs> you know what? I could say the day of, like the actual, like you know, afterwards you're in the reception. Yeah, that, yeah. but. The yeah. chaos leading up to it, and <laughs> everything, just like so. Oh so the God. Irish family is just about as crazy as the Italians, huh? Irish, we are just as 
crazy psych just yeah. psychotic like yeah. like lavender has to get draped over the back of every chair for my brother's wedding and it's like <laughs> we're up there at four in the morning tying little pieces of string to like lavender and throwing it over chairs it's, like, oh, no. it's just like why do we do this like my mom and dad got married in whatever year it was yeah and they were in like they literally they got married in in the church like they just yeah. you know a month yeah. before told the the past the uh, priest yeah and then they were in the basement of the church and my mom said like we had a few catering trays like she's like it yeah. probably cost us a couple hundred bucks like yeah. that was their wedding it was like <laughs> that was it. what are we doing wrong now man <laughs> yeah no i know it's uh it's um yeah yeah i i uh, you know and, and maybe on some levels it makes sense but i i, I don't get it either and and <laughs> yeah and uh, and to be honest, I've been married three times, and I'm not, which I'm not proud of at all. But it's it's been, uh, I'll, I'll never do this again. But but I love living with Michelle. I mean, I I love you know, and and the commitment is there. It's just church. Yeah. Anyways, it's all good. Well, no, it's, a, I, it's a sacrament. It's a it's a really a, a, a very good sacrament. But it's I not, totally agree with that. Yeah. 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 It's a sacrament that turns, <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, like it turns into a business. And I, I'm actually not making a joke. Like I, I remember standing at the altar and the pastor who performed the ceremony yeah. um, was the pastor who my father did missionary work with over in Ireland. And just, just an absolutely wonderful guy. And yeah. that moment, I, on it, I, I feel like silly saying this, but that moment was holy. It really yeah. was. I was standing there and I actually felt like, the thing of yeah. like you know you're standing on holy ground it was beautiful yeah <laughs> it was everything around it that was like, <laughs> did you pay the photographer the photographer the photographer was like in my face like snapping 400 photos and like just like yeah. five thousand six thousand seven thousand dollars thanks for taking my picture it's, it's yeah. just like wow <laughs> no i get it i get it yeah. so, but i love being married i love being married <laughs> yeah good and um yeah well, okay uh, so did you send that image over again? Oh, yeah. I got it. Cool, okay. I got it. Um, I think I, I think I got that image in the initial email. Oh okay. really? Okay. Well, I, I just did some more painting on it. I'm I'm, I'm struggling with it a little bit. And, and uh, all right, let me uh, let me pop it in. You're gonna lose me okay. for a second. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save that image, and I'll pop it in as a hidden layer. Okay. <clears throat> And yeah, buddy. I'm on a phone, a phone call, a Zoom call. Oh, right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. Is that Evan? That was Evan. Right. Evan looks so healthy. Oh my goodness. Oh, so good, good. good. What a what a gift. Um, all right. So where are we here? All right. So now, microphone on. Start broadcast. And tell me if you see the screen. I, uh, I don't see. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Awesome. Um, all right. So here's the image that I received um, yeah. right in the middle there. And now. Yeah. Um, so I, did, I, just sent, I sent another one. Oh, shoot. Here, here, here's the other one yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, I think that might be it. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the last image. Um, all right. So I'm going to replace that one. Okay. Um, with yeah. we're gonna delete this one. Yeah. And so now we have the most recent version. Um. Okay. So why don't why don't you talk about uh, what you're up to, and then I'll, I'll okay. hop in. Okay. You know, as I'm looking at it, um, I, I'm I'm just f kind of fighting with that shadows a little bit. I notice I have a fairly light green um spot in there. You know. The, I did send the photo and there was, you know, where the light is coming through. Maybe it's a little bit too light, too light a value. The, the, the trees on the right aren't coming through really well because um, I guess my camera. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a glare. Um, a glare, yeah. Did you, do, did you do much work between the previous photo and this one? Because the previous photo has no glare. Okay. Um, would you no, I didn't do anything on the trees. So, so maybe, maybe you, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna insert that one as well, okay. uh, because that one just uh, yeah that, I can see that one much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So 
you know we'll do we'll we'll just I, leave I, that actually, one actually actually maybe kind of keep that one because actually in some ways i don't know okay maybe we'll look at them both because i'd be messing messing with them yeah so um yeah just you, you uh you just okay so your thoughts and then, and then yeah I'll hop so in so i can see that i can see where that road is that needs to be a little bit straighter you know where the, where the dip goes down about halfway through um okay and and um uh, yeah I'm, and this is and the one on and then you you can see the photo itself right on the left hand side and then and then the one in the middle there that's that's a painting that i did uh the one on the just on the right side of that one that's that's an older yeah. painting that i did and i right. haven't really messed with it but i i can see the, the shadows there are are too solid you know i i, I want to go back into that and and it feels yeah. um it's too much well, and the other one maybe i don't know if it's too little so well let's uh let, let's i'm gonna move this guy over yeah. um yeah, like let's let's we'll hop into this guy first. Yeah. Um, I really like the shadow uh, color and value on this one. Okay. okay. Um, I I actually, I think it's the softness of it. I think you've, you know, like growth is growth is incremental and growth is also sometimes growth can be so gradual that we personally we ourselves don't pick up on the change yeah. until like you know like. A year or two goes by and we have an older painting we it's been somewhere we haven't seen yeah. it and we yeah. put it beside our recent work we're like oh wow i really have grown because yeah. you're on the far side of you know the, the bird's eye view of growth at yeah. that point but i actually see growth between this painting which yeah. i like and this painting but there's already been growth just right there where the softness like you said and the value of the shadows um yeah. is really beautiful and what I would say is um, the the light on the road right mm -hmm. here. Um, that light uh -huh. is. Let me actually go to um, see if I can draw on this layer. I'm gonna make another layer. All right, cool. Um, that light on the road right yeah. there is beautiful. Um, that works really well. Yeah. And then I th I think over here you could get a little bit more. Of, um, wh 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 where is that? I'm not seeing it. Oh, okay. So tell me if you see the light coming on the road right now. Oh, okay. Um, it, 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 it's just in the distance there, right? Um, it's well, actually, there, there, there it is. Okay. Now I see it. Right on the foreground. And yeah. I, I'll, I'll go backwards on it where okay. you can see, you can see the, um, okay. progression. So okay. watch this ready. So yeah. that's getting rid of it. That's bringing yeah. it in. See okay. it? Right. Right. So you're lightening that up a little bit there. Like, hmm, yeah, yeah, that works. That does work. So, I, I mean, I probably, now that I look at it, like I want a little too light, which is, this is yeah. just the way I, I paint. Like I, I kind of, yeah. I push things too far and then I pull yeah. it back. Um, yeah. I seldom get, I seldom get something on the first go, but yeah. I, they used to bother me a lot as an artist, but then I saw a lot of my heroes, I, I saw them painting mm -hmm. and they just, we're so comfortable with the evolution of painting yeah. where they put it down, didn't work. So they heightened it. That didn't yeah. work. So they diminished it. That didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So then they, yeah. somewhere right in the middle of heightening something and diminishing it, they got it just perfect. But it, yeah. when they painted, they, they were accepting of that process and yeah. they did, weren't uh, beating themselves up. I was like, yeah. Oh, when I paint, if I don't hit it right the first time, yeah. I, I get really, frustrated I'm, like, oh, I'm not a good painter yeah but like i i had it like you know we all, we have good teachers um i i had a really bad teacher i i don't really talk about him often hmm. um but i kind of think it's useful for me to 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 share with you um he was a teacher in stony brook university and he was just like this monster of a man i later found out that he was a raging alcoholic which kind of kind of fit his blow up personality yeah. But yeah. he could be sweet, but then he could be severe. Yeah. So um, his big thing was um, mix the paint on your palette and put it down once. Yeah. And wow. don't finesse it. So he yeah. would just, he'd really encourage me in painting. Then the next time I saw him, he just lost his mind. It was like screaming, cursing really, like, really, really, in front really. of 
yeah, yeah. in front of 25 students, like cursing his head off at the top of his lungs at me. Like <laughs> he was yeah. quite, quite a character. So yeah, I, no, that's, that, that's, uh, that, that's, that's not a teacher. No, he wasn't. He was any to I'm now I'm I'm not being spiteful here, but he really wasn't that good a painter. Um if he was like if you if it was John Singer Sargent doing that, I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Actually but he wasn't really that good. So yeah. anyway, um I'm sharing the whole story just to say that I had this notion that stayed with me for a long time until yeah. this the Cecil Studios worked it out of me. But the yeah. notion was um you put down the paint and if yeah. and you don't you don't move it yeah. and you have to be extremely you work it all out on the palette whereas when yeah. i got to cecil that never even crossed their minds ever they were just like kind of like you just you just like you move all over the piece and adjust things as you complete your statement well, like, and it's i i got yeah i that and that's a wonderful point. I appreciate that. And I can see where I need to lighten that road. I can go back in there and just, just, you know, I think this is about the fourth time I've done that, you know, dark and light and dark and light. And so, you know, I think, um, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and looking at the photo, I can see that. And, uh, yeah. and, and that's where it's like, like the, well, really the whole point for this painting is, okay, so you have to go back and lighten the road. So why does this whole story matter? because that's painting and that's that's fine that's totally fine and it doesn't mean that you've messed up you're writing a novel and you're doubling back four chapters because you discovered something new about one of your characters yeah. so it's like it's not a thing of like oh i made a mistake and i didn't make the road light enough well yeah. no like you actually kind of kind of the opposite like you instead of making a mistake you nailed the shadow so wonderfully Okay. That now, now it tells you that the road wants to get lighter. Do you okay. see what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah, I it's a wonderful, joyful way of painting because yeah. you disabuse yourself of the notion of like, I messed up and I didn't make the road light enough. Yeah. Instead, you're like, I really love what I did in these shadows. And now yeah. I'm just going to, now I'm just going to heighten it by going in, in the lights. And, 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 and it, scraping that back. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, so for me, the reason why with my long winded story, it's because it changed the act of painting from being one of frustration and really getting annoyed while I was working. Yeah. And it changed it into delight. Where I was like, okay. oh, cool. There's this effect going on in front of me. And I really started to enjoy painting Yeah. when yeah. I just like saw better things. So um, let's look at the light coming across the path. So yeah. if you look specifically at that mark I just made, yeah. um, let, let me know if you can see it. There's this uh -huh. awesome play of, of light coming across the pathway um oh yeah, so there it is. yeah i'm right yeah, there yeah, yeah so yeah. I'll, I'll do it again so that you can yeah. see yeah and it goes like that yeah and i i went a little too light there so yeah. um i don't know what ha okay here we are um so uh again i'm taking some of this light from the road yeah and i'm just pulling it in like a dappled way where we can feel some light on that path it's very subtle what i'm doing it is. yeah but uh then when you pair that together with going a little bit lighter um like you see all these neat little dapples right here uh very close to us it might be okay. hard to see on your screen yeah, there. yeah 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 um then we can grab some of the light on the grass which is it's just to me like the light on the grass is so beautiful it is um yeah. And it's like, then we can go in and kind of um, heighten the light on the grass. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna strengthen the blue shadow um, on, the on the green of the, okay. in the there, dark yeah. of the grass. Yeah. So now you see how, I'm, so there, if you look right here, yeah. I'm gonna run with the shadow that's on the path and I'm gonna bring that shadow onto the grass. Okay, yeah. You see that? Um, it was too dark, so I'm gonna go lighter. Uh, you don't. The, the nice thing about this piece, and don't let my silly demonstration on an iPad uh, cause you to careen off of a, a successful path. Um, you have this nice airy quality to this piece that I that I really enjoy. Uh -huh. um, don't let my iPad screen yeah. make you think that you should go like dark or something like that yeah. with yeah. these shadows. Um, 
I'm really just trying to get the light coming across the, the green of the grass and onto the road there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then we could break it up even a little bit more where maybe this, this shape right here um, might feel like a little bit, it might feel a little bit too like one, two, three. Yeah. Um, so what we can do is we can grab your color on the road, yeah. uh, the, your shadow on the road, and yeah. we could pull it across a little bit yeah. more if you want. Yeah. So just a tiny bit, like you don't want to cut off the road. Yeah. Uh, but then see how I'm like, just like breaking that one, two, three up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe it's, it's quite green, uh, quite, <laughs> quite shady right over here. Um, and then I'm coming back again with the light on the road. Yeah. 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 And that light on the road feels, so now, now I like that. So, you know, there is a one, two, three to it, but that's okay because it's, it feels like perspective. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then you see how the path goes really wide yeah. and then it just gets narrower and narrower and narrower. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's another thing I would do is you, you did the wide to narrow uh, very yeah. well up until this point right here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yes. and, and I see the green on the right-hand side of the trail needs, need, yeah, you've done it there. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I did that I did that horrifically wrong, so please forgive my uh, <laughs> my, my bad job right there. Um, yeah. But but I understand the, the idea, yeah. Yeah, no, so again, yeah. That, that can come in, yeah. Um, then um, the, I think the, the shade right here, uh-huh in moments can come maybe just a, a breath lighter um okay. and what that will do just in moments is that will just like lighten up the feel of that pathway like i i don't know how to say it, but we feel um the boundary between the path and the grass right there mm -hmm. um and then um every everything you look at nature we reduce to geometric essence so like the tree right here is nothing more than a sphere and light is hitting that sphere from the side yeah. and so that sphere is going to be dark right on the left hand side if the light is coming from the right so this is yeah, redundant yeah. we know it but when it comes to the act of painting i i will chase effects sometimes where okay. um the right now the feel of the sphere is it just feels like kind of uniform sh shape yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah like that yeah um and right. what i i think you need to just give us an an indication that the the foliage i'm just going to go on I, I just have black right now selected but the yeah. foliage just gets a little bit darker on the far side right uh, here on the left side oh yeah yeah yeah. Just a little bit. And and let's say yeah. you look at it and you're like, well, I don't like that because now it made it, um, it kind of made it too uh, dark and I like this very airy feeling. Well, then just go a little bit lighter over here, maybe. Maybe that's the solution. You know what I'm saying? Lighter over where? I don't see it. Where oh, going? right right here on the right-hand okay. side. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, now I see what you're doing. Okay, good. Well, yeah. all you're really trying to do is get the feeling of light hitting the side of that tree. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, don't don't go by my my iPad demo. Like um, yeah. this guy, uh, you, you've met him before, Steve Foster from the um, from the Long Island Academy. Uh, the guy draws on an iPad, like hmm. like a, he's a wizard. I mean, okay. he's as he is as uh, comfortable with an Apple pencil in his hand as he is with like okay. a paintbrush. And so yeah. I don't know how he does it, but he's got it in him, and he's awesome. I, yeah. I don't have that facility um, with the iPad. So yeah. all my suggestions, all my colors, um, they always feel like a little false. So just yeah, yeah. Take, take it with a grain of salt <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and just see the principle rather than the specific yeah. suggestion. Yeah. Um, the, so the other thought I had is you see the clouds right here, how soft that transition is. Yeah. Very, very soft. Yeah. Um, it's a little clouds. Hard, yeah. Yeah, clouds, clouds can genuinely have really hard transitions. Like they yeah. can, yeah. Um, but I would, I would actually be inclined to soften them a little bit for the yeah. simple reason that our eyes 
really adjusted for uh -huh. the okay. for the the images yeah. uh, for the objects such as telephone poles those will be to me in sharp focus yeah and the clouds i don't really like what i did in making it chalky um but I, all i was trying to do is really blur it down a little just bit soften those edges, yeah. just soften the edges just yeah. a little bit so that they're not so abrupt yeah. um you yeah. want this this over here um feels so soft and gentle yeah, yeah. but then that that just feels like yeah. too abrupt um yeah. and you want to with that you want to get like a real soft like yeah. um uh you want to get like a brush kind of like a sable or something like that and just kind of melt that area you know what i mean yeah. yeah yeah um but i would keep the shape because i like the placement of the clouds yeah. um the then the telephone poles um i really like them i really like their shapes mm -hmm. and then i would just go with the telephone poles i just clean up the just line of them the edges yeah and to do that um i i get both colors wet you don't have oh, to repaint yeah. all this but yeah. i i paint this way where I'm cleaning it up with the object, with, with the pole itself. Hmm. And then uh -oh. uh, I take the color on the outside of it. And okay. then I, it's what I call carving. Okay. Then I carve on the outside of it. Okay. See that? And I carve away. So are you carving right on that first post or, or the second one? I'll, uh, I'll animate it so you can see it's the first, second, third, fourth. So watch, watch the yeah. animation um, as even like the fifth one. So ready? Look at, okay. look at the first okay. post. Yeah. The yeah. first post. Yeah. Second post, third post, fourth post, okay. fifth post. Okay. Yeah. And then I start going into, I think you even hit the sixth one there. Then I start going into the sky around it and okay. I'm using the sky to clean up the lines yeah yeah and that's what i call carving like yeah. um where i use the color outside of the principal object to yeah. clean up so again look at this look at the third post there yeah and see how i use yeah the sky yeah. i always go thick to thin when something goes recedes yeah. into the distance yeah and so you can see the animation there yeah. we're going thick to thin yeah and then um the other area i would hop into is the the telephone line right here yeah, yeah where i'd i'd come and i'd make that the other ones feel really nice and thin um yeah. and then i think this one could just go a even thin. a little bit thinner but i yeah. i do this with what is around the object yeah. i don't do it with um the 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 wire itself right but i carve out with what's around it yeah yeah, gotcha. And Good. then you get that nice slice. And then you get a nice line there. Yeah. So now we have a halo around it. it looks stupid. Yeah. Like wh whenever I do that in my paintings, where I, I carve out. So then I just I just fill it in. You know what I mean? Like I, I just take the color around it, yeah. and I just make sure that I yeah. um it doesn't look like a halo. Yeah. And and you'll know how to do this again. Like I'm at the mercy of an iPad. But you see how that line got nice and slick now? Yeah. Yeah. And much nicer. Yeah. Um. Mark D'Alessio, um, I talk about his work a lot. I just, he does certain things with his technique where I, I really like it where he has these really sharp slices. Um, like when he does like the rigging on uh, the mast of a ship or something like that um, in, in like some harbor or somewhere, like he does these liquid electric slices yeah. and he makes them really sharp and then he carves with what's around it. Yeah. Um, I just think he does that to really great effect. And he's yeah. one of the only artists I know in the whole plein air painting scene that does it well. Um, yeah. It's just that that one specific kind of slice. Yeah. And that's really what I'm talking about right there, where it takes away a bit of the, the chunkiness that I used yeah. to get, you know? Yeah. No, perfect. Uh, perfect. Yeah, good. Um, so, so is it worth going back to that? first one that I did and, and trying to clean that up a little bit or should I just use that to laugh at once in a while? No, totally. I, I hop back in when I've grown, like provided the painting um, hasn't lost its impulse, but yeah. like uh, in, in particular, I would almost, I would almost take um, 
the tree that you see right here, it's so lush um, and it's so, so I'm on the photograph yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's so lush and so yeah. Yeah. verdant. And then this, this kind of feels, um, yeah. it, it just, it just feels yeah, empty. It, um, it looks hungry. It looks hungry. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. so I would, I would go in and totally hundred yeah. percent repaint that tree. Yeah. Um, and really try to get like, I like the loftiness of course, like we're further away from this tree, um, on the right hand side, we're further away from this. Yeah. And, but still there's elements to this tree that there's a grandeur that comes from the height yeah. of it. Um, and the fullness of it. Yeah. So yeah. I would transport that into here and then I'd rethink your road again. Yeah. Um, yeah. the road doesn't need to be, um, the, the shape of it is good, but I would go like with that light of the previous painting that you had before. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I bring that light in over yeah. here and then, um, on the, you know, like let the shadow of that tree come across. Yeah. So, and then I, I'm, I'm just doing a generalization yeah. here. So I can but, carve around that some of those lights too, or those darks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just, yeah. I really like the soft, the soft element of your your previous painting where yeah. these these shadows right here uh yeah, for my eye hard. are are pretty harsh yeah but if yeah. you go in um really soft yeah. and just yeah. kind of like have this like gentle dialogue between the light and the dark um i think you're gonna find it you know i'm not i'm not finding it right now but i'm trying to just get this I'm going to try over here. Well, you know, it's it's an incredible experience for me is that to do two, maybe even three paintings on on a, on a uh, on the same site just because I, you know, I'm so in kindergarten. I'm just, you know, you learn so much, you know. And, uh, totally, <laughs> Lewis. Totally, and and that's where um like it's it's really good for us to look at um, what painters of the past would do, like. I really like um, Cezanne. Uh, uh -huh. I, no, my work could not be further from Cezanne than. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's a little different, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, um, but I, it's it's cool to me how he kept on returning yeah, yeah. to Mount yeah. Mont Saint Vitois, um, yeah. and I can't pronounce that, but so he kept on returning to the same site. Yeah. And painting it over and over and yeah, over and over again. Really did. A different seasons, the whole smear. Yeah. yeah. And it's like when I look at um also let's look at uh this is a little bit different, but uh cathedral. I think you and I looked at this um once before. But check this out. It's so cool. Um this is the wow. Rouen cathedral series so like wow. he had he had a whole series that oh he did oh my goodness look at that a and it's just like painting yeah and it's like he painted these at different times of the day um oh yeah just, it's so beautiful some of them like, yeah. are like golden blue like the one on the yeah. far right looks so much like a turner to me yeah um yeah. then other ones like they're just like a totally different like yeah. orange and pinks and like but why why did he return to the same thing over and over again? A little bit different than what we're talking about, but he became familiar with the scene. Mm -hmm. He was enchanted by the shifting light and color yeah. and atmosphere. Um, so it's just mm -hmm. it's just very important for us as artists to even like if you look at Titian, um, his painting. Uh, um, uh, painting. Repeat. I'll just type in repeat. He, so, he has a certain theme that he just returns to 20 times. Yeah, there. yeah look at that. Yeah. Um, it's so uh, Charles Cecil, he talked about, and he did a little lecture on, on Titian, and he felt he was the first artist who, who used sight sizing to, to paint with. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and that's where, uh, let me go, uh, versions. 
or versions. Wow. Um, this is why I, I think things like this are important for you and I, for all of us to look at. Look at how many times Titian painted Venus and Adonis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a yeah. lot. He, 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 he went back to that. Boy, he went back to that over and over. And it's like, um, the, the, these are big paintings too. Huge really? Paintings. And it's like, amazing. So for us as artists, for you to, to do another, if you wanted, yeah. paint, paint that landscape right in front of you on a snowy day. Ah, um, that'd be paint great. It in yeah. the first whispers of spring, like sometimes yeah. I, I've, I've, I've felt for years that there are, really eight seasons instead of four because <laughs> early spring is so different than than yeah that's high right spring. yeah like totally different and it's like so sometimes yeah. it feels like that to me but paint it in early spring and then paint it in mid-spring you know what yeah. i mean yeah 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 that sap green is is a different color then or it's not a sap green anymore it becomes an old green so yep yeah. yep and right now the uh that massive storm that came through and uh, yeah. took off all the tops of our, all of our trees yeah. in our yard, um, yeah. all the leaves. Um, they've sprouted all fresh new spring leaves. So the top half is like that yellow green. That's right. That's and the bottom right. half is that deep, deep, huh. older huh. blue green. But it's yeah. like, it, it, our yard is two-toned right now. Really? It's, really? it's so bizarre, but it's, yeah. it's, just, it's just striking how much nature changes. Yeah. Um, and, it's and color. It accommodates. Yeah. So, oh, you're talking about tipping the side size. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah. That. No, no, no. That's good. Yeah. No, that that that's great. And and um, um, sometimes sometimes I feel like a real amateur because I keep going back to the same site. But I think it's 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 probably it's 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 it's, it's quality that it's you know you know that could really work for me, amateur or not. So yeah, and I. And, yeah. yeah, I I highly encourage it if it's yeah. if it's something that interests you. Like yeah. um I I have a few paintings of violins that um I did kind of in a formulaic way, you know, just <laughs> babies and mortgage payments and stuff yeah. like that. So just yeah. about. But truth be told, like I could do another honestly Lewis, I could do another hundred paintings of violins yeah. and never tire of it. Because yeah. it's just something about the motif that just really I don't know. It interests me. It's almost like the modes of life. So yeah. like we find these things that we get interested in. Yeah. I don't think there's any shame. Like how many times did Chardin paint like, you know, an onion or yeah. Yeah. Um, the same, the same ceramic mug yeah. or, you know, like the same table, like how many yeah. times, but it, it was interesting to him. And yeah. but that for me, you could do for the rest of your days, yeah. the similar sites yeah. and return and rethink them and you're growing um i i can visibly see the change in the course of a month of or two of painting for you wow, so, wow. yeah no, just, and 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 i feel so blessed that i can paint as much pretty much as much as i want and it, it's it's an incredible gift I, I just that's awesome i'm having just such a good time so um yeah yeah I'm a bear sometimes, so. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> so, do you want to talk about this painting? Yeah, I'm. So, I, the last time we, you know, we talked that it didn't need a whole lot, but it just needed a few sharp lines, and and um, I'm not really happy with the, uh, James walking down the the beach there. That that shoulder on the the left shoulder feels a little, little little goinky, but um, I. I um, the shadows on, on the shoreline, I think they kind of work. Um, so what do you think? I, I really, this is my favorite beach scene you've done yet. Um, okay. I, I, I really, I love it. Um, I really love it. And um, do, do you mind, the past couple of lessons together, like um, I've, uh, I've searched for an image for a little bit, but I think one image will really help okay. if you don't mind me looking for it. Sure. Um, so Degas has um, this one work that's in one of the back rooms of the Metropolitan, and 
it's it's this woman's face in this room, this interior, and then she just she just melts the the, the background behind her just melts yeah. away into nothing. Um, yeah. And I one of the things that struck me about the work was if you can have one area that's really crisp mm -hmm. and you know it has like great finish um <clears throat> you can let other things melt away yeah. and the viewer's eye doesn't have any problems with it so like i've given you like a real generalization there like and, and i'm aware of it like in the sense of um like the, there's inversions of this where you can have the whole entire thing just atmospheric yeah, yeah. um so i i i I don't want to like give you any formula right now. Like whenever you have a piece, you have to have one crisp area. Yeah. Um, but if I could pull this image up, I'm really struck by artists who lock in. There's another painting. If I can't find this Degas, like I said, it's an obscure one. Um, I never, ever see this painting anywhere. It might yeah. be a pastel. Um, I think I'm going to have to look it up off the zoom call because I, I'm not seeing it here. Um, but I'm really taken by artists. So I have another go-to image, um, okay. for how I like this in a work of art. Um, so Fetchin, um, the more I look at Fetchin, the more I like him. He's like someone like, I liked him from the first time I ever looked at his work. Just loves his paintings. Nikolai Fetchin? Yeah, Fetchin. Uh, and I'll send this over to you. Okay. Um, but not only did i like it like you know this many years ago probably 15 years ago i first came across his work um but as time has gone by i've just grown to love his work more and more and more yeah, he's amazing boy, 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 boy. just amazing yeah. and like look at that right there um like look look at how let's yeah. let's take this um image and we may not be able to pop it in because your um, the images are filling up on that particular file, but I'll pop her into here. Um, take a look at at when you let's zoom in and go like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's all. I mean, other than her face and that one hand, which is even a little bit less. So look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. But it's like, I, I, Lewis, I love this yeah. in a work of art. Like, I love it where you yeah. have these crisp areas of focus, but then other things melt. Yeah. It's all about that right there. That precision yeah. rescues, not rescues, but um, it words sense. tell me, it just makes the rest of it yeah. work. Like, it just totally works. Like, yeah. I, I adore this painting. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. If I had money to go out and, and buy... Yeah something i mean i i love this painting so much 1.5 million dollars extra in your bank account you'd get it yeah well i mean really all i have to do is go work in high finance and find a way to do some <laughs> high speed something and rip a penny off of every person on planet earth and then i can buy it um so like this is this is exactly what i think of when i look at your your work there um where if we can push James even further. Even and, further, okay. And, um, oh, quick thing. If I lose you, if, if like the cold cuts or something like that, um, okay. I'll resend the link. Okay. When I have um, files open that have a lot of images, um, okay. I've been noticing that my iPad um, can't handle it, even though yeah. it, this thing is super powerful. I have like pretty much the most powerful one in the market um, and I love it, but it can't handle too many images, so. Okay. Um, I will, I will send this. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll come back. I'll come yeah. back. Okay. Um, so here, here's a few little thoughts that I have. Um, sure. I think it's best that I do these in a brilliant um, screaming red because otherwise uh, I've been finding with students that it doesn't uh, necessarily show up okay. uh, when they, you know, when they go back, they're like, I forgot what you said, said to do because I couldn't uh, see the change. So, the shoulder is just going to come down a yeah. little bit more. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, not that not, it's really weird. We're just looking at the where the triceps 
Yeah. Or simply put, they're just meeting the scapula right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I might even pull in the waist a little bit, not okay. because I need my my subject to have like a certain waist, but just because the the where That's the sense. external oblique meets the pelvis, we just know that the pelvis is always a little bit wider. Like even yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter. The, the body type. So the pelvis just comes a little bit wider right here. Yeah. Um, then for the head, if, if the head is indeed um, over here, um, then the shoulder, there's going to have to be like a bit of movement to get the, the body symmetrical somewhat. Okay. Um, obviously the, the head originates um, right in the middle, but um, I think what I would think is that the head if it's tilting up, it's going to come out a little bit more right here. Okay. Um, it's going to pop out, you know, just going to come out because yeah. I think when I think of the head, I actually don't think of, and I'm trying to place it. I think of the spine. Yeah. The spine is just that easy cheat sheet that runs right down the middle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but when I chase after the head, you can get lost by all the negative space behind. Okay. Um, and that that can be kind of elusive. But if you're if you keep it within the form, and you think there's a spine running right down the middle here, um, then you're safe. So then the arm comes down here, and um, maybe next lesson, if you even want to send over the image of James walking, okay, um, we could do a study. But I think this will suffice for now. So yeah. I think going really specific okay, on really him yeah. will be the almost like the Nikolai Fetchin, the, the chin okay. of the woman over there. Yeah. The more specific you go, but like, here's the thing. I, I have landscapes I've done where the figure in the landscape is nothing more than two brush strokes. Yeah. Um, so I'm really not advocating um, highly finished okay. figures always in landscapes. Just somehow, somehow in this piece, pushing him yeah. to an appropriate level of finish feels yeah. right because, because this melts and this melts yeah. Yeah. and this yeah. melts. Yeah. And I like it. I, I don't want it any other way. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's my thought. And yeah, perfect. Um, yeah. I think it will, I think it will really um, help you. And, you know, that requires maybe laying the painting flat on a table. Okay. Um, and then doing a really finished external yeah. contour study. I mean, I know we looked at him just the other week. Um, I may have sent a photo. There, there may be one there of, of him because I think I did send it. So. Uh, oh, James! Yeah. I saw him in a path in um, on a path in yeah, on a path. Uh, I think that's Avalon. 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 Yeah. 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 And I did um, start the Schwartz guy, you, which you recommended the other day, and and I'm gonna. Well, I'm working on it. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, and, and maybe I'm totally deluded here, but you know, I, I like plain air because it feels just this outside. It feels really alive. This feels a little yeah. dead to me and it's a little bit hard for me to get into it. Tell you the truth. So, no, no, that's, that's no problem. Like, remember we were talking about um, the one artist who does the waves, but they look like, kind of like frozen. Um, okay. So like, like I, I appreciate when people um, let me know where the, where they are and what they're thinking of. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, doesn't bother me in the slightest. Like I, I, I love that because my, my affections really lie in um, with, like, I, I really love Soroya like, and just something yeah. about something about the truth of Soroya's work. Yeah. Uh, but the playfulness at the same time. Yeah. Um, one of the things that, strikes me about Schwartz um, is just the precision of drawing yeah, is yeah. the same. And he's, I mean, that's, that couldn't be more painterly, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, or, and even like something like that, yeah. it's really painterly. But yeah. when I look at Schwartz and then I look at Soroya uh, Beach, um, we see the same thing here where, yeah. Um, even like if you take these figures right here, they're, um, figures. they're really well done, but they're really painterly. You know what I mean? 
yeah. but there's a precision in the painterliness. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, this is this is a painting of a boy at the sea. Yeah. Your, yours is a painting of the sea with a man, not yeah. a man and the sea. So it's it's a different thing. Um, yeah. Sotheby's isn't letting me zoom in, uh, but this is a great example where there's precision right here, um, and yet it's still very painterly. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's my thought is is going in um, with that. Yeah. With that. Um, crisp area yeah. to offset all of the very smoky, like kind of like atmospheric. And it's going to be cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, and, um, and I, I have been down on the beach with Michelle and, you know, I'm just, just, you know, I just do these little figures of, you know, people moving around and stuff. So, so that's my learning right now too, is to really get the figure down and as much as it, I find it's, 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 it's a tricky thing, you know, but it's, uh, yeah. for me it's yeah, it's not easy um but you know i mean you, you you've been working on the figure for you know over three years so i mean it just takes some time right it, it really I, takes I time just, yeah yep. yeah it, it really Sorry. does yeah i mean it, i do kind of like this whole idea painting as being um painting and drawing as being a lifelong pursuit <clears throat> it helps me to ease up on the self-flagellation, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, where like, I'm not with a figure where I wanna be. Um, and if I go down the wrong path with my thoughts, I can despair and be like, yeah. well, yeah. this artist was doing this by this age and I'm at this age, like I, I could easily go there. But I just, my thought is the same thing over and over and over again. <clears throat> it's that if I just keep chipping away, yeah. little by little, like every day, no matter what the day is like, I try to get a little bit of time studying something with a figure yeah, um, yeah. and not reducing my artistic output to just dry studies. Yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, I always try to get a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of sketching in with like, okay, how does the hand work? How does yeah. the articulation of the hip socket, you know, work with the, yeah. like, how, how does this work? And if I get a little bit in every day, then at the far end of a year, I'm like, Oh, I've okay. really grown to understand this. So, yeah. Same, same for you. Yeah, so. yeah. It's it's an interesting thing because the intellectual understanding is one thing, and then and then to get your hand to kind of be conscious of of the dynamics of what's happening versus you know what you're you know it's 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 such an interesting head thing you know and uh, yeah it's it's experiential more than you know I don't know so it's it's. Um, it's exciting that in that in that way, and it's it's frustrating too. But um, yep. yeah, how conditioned my I am to seeing things that the, the the mind says it's going to be one way, but in reality, to really see, you have to release that mind thing. So it's yeah, you know, it's such a it's such a good tease because yeah. Um, I find myself, you know, in teaching all the time saying, draw what you know, not what you see, because like, um, sometimes, or draw what you see, not what you know. And then those are the next words out of my mouth. I'm, I'm like, well, draw, <laughs> draw what you see, no, you know? So, um, that's where, but painters for all time, like that is like the, um, I don't even know how to say it. Like that's the dance where, yeah. Michelangelo was drawing what he knew, not what he saw. And yeah. so if yeah. you look at his work, his work is really false. Okay. But he was painting a higher reality or, or yeah. self, whichever one you want to talk about. But um, yeah. John Singer Sargent was painting both what he saw and what he knew. Yeah. Do you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. Monet was strictly painting what he saw. Yeah. Um, so it's like you have Monet on the one pole, like who's yeah. just like so far, and then you have Michelangelo on the other. Yeah, those guys could not look more different than each other, and um, yeah. it's just the dance that we all have. Some some artists, like the atelier that Sargent studied at, the atelier Carlos Duran. Uh -huh. um, Carlos Duran was a proponent of don't don't labor with like heavy underdrawings and stuff like that put the precise color at the precise value in the precise spot where it belongs. 
Uh, uh. Um, that great, that, that's very much influenced by Velasquez, you know? Okay. okay. And then let, let nature pull itself together with the phenomenon of seeing. Mm. Um, so like you're flirting with both worlds. We all are. Um, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, and, and like we've talked about before, if, if we can play our musical instrument enough and get enough practice, it'll, it'll, it'll start transcending itself to, to what, you know, what's, what's wanted. So yeah. it, it totally will. And it's, it's, it's chipping away. It's yeah. steadily chipping away and delighting, like enjoying, like, yeah. I think in this piece right here, um, did you work on this again after last week? Um, you know, I don't think I, I think maybe, no, I, I, I may have done a little bit. Um, um, you know, I think I was just leaving it sit and I was going to do some more work on it. And we were, and we didn't really talk about it very much. The only thing you did say was the, the, the light, uh, the greens needed to be broken up a little bit more. And I've been sitting with that. Yeah, I kind of remember. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, yeah. So that's that's kind of it, but I have gone into it after I brought it home. Maybe I did go into it. Looks like I did. I, I think you did like yeah. right around um yeah. yeah. Right around yeah, I tried to break that up a little bit. Yeah, I yeah, did. This, not, not, this not got broken up. Right. Yeah, so I think um my first impression, actually what I want to do is um I want to um make the other images for a moment disappear and i'm just trying to find all the images at the moment um that image because I, I don't want to be affected by oh there it is okay i don't want to be affected by those other images um i like i like this painting I, I it's gone in a direction when i first saw it and i opened it up um it really like there's just something beautiful the atmosphere uh this coming in uh how this totally recedes you've really unified this uh-huh yeah that was... um I, I really like that and then the way that this is advancing um i think this is advancing well because you carved out the negative space with yeah, yeah. with dark right here yeah. um i would if i were you even maybe push this the dark back here okay. not not blacker like absolutely not blacker just darker with that really beautiful combination of um, ultramarine blue, a little bit of cad red, a little bit of cad yellow. Okay. Um, and I like how you've gone in with these slices. Um, and I would spend time on this okay. painting just pulling in like the, the greenery. If I remember this part of Avalon, um, it's all this like very tall, it's this tall brush, but it is, there's sharpness in the yeah. negative space here. So that's yeah. what I would say. Um, I would, I would push, push that further. Um, I think you and I looked at, th there's a, a painting that, that I love. Um, this is like one of my favorite paintings of all time. Um, there are certain pieces that just will grab and stay with me for years. And where is this one? Um, I think it's in a folder called Paintings and Drawings I Admire, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, there it is. So this is just one of my favorite paintings of all time. I really, oh, wow. really love it. Um, I'm not in pulling this up. I'm not saying, hey, this is what you need to do and this is what you want to do. Like I, I just, that's not my job. <laughs> um, but I really like how in this painting, um, for some reason it's pixelated, uh, it's taking a little bit to download from the cloud. But in this painting, I like the unity of it and how the objects in the foreground, sure they have great detail, but then you go into the background. And again, sorry that it's so pixelated at the moment, yeah. but, um, you go into the background and it's, it just melts away. Like, yeah, yeah, it really melts. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Very, very different painting, very yeah. different subject, very different time of day. <laughs> yeah. Like, but 
the unity of the piece is really what I'm talking about, where this whole passage, that mm -hmm. farmhouse and that tall tree, yeah. they're unified. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of where I'm going. When I look at your painting, um, I like the unity of what's happening back here. Mm -hmm. And I would even unify it even more. Yeah. Um, okay, neat. And I like yeah. the color register. I like this, like, the, just the, the blue on my screen. It's this beautiful, like, blue green that just yeah. okay. recedes, but it's also there. But yeah. maybe this got a little too busy right here. Yeah. Where this is feeling much better unified. So, yeah. like, yeah. I'd almost turn it into this soft, like, look okay. at this really. I, I don't know if I can get rid of. Oh, I can get rid of uh, that. Yeah, cool. Um, look at, uh, let me put another layer. Um, oh, let me just do this, sorry. Um, trying to erase away my demo. Cool. Um, look at this really nice silhouette that you have. Okay. I really okay. like that. I mean, it's really, it's, it's well done. And, um, what if you even unified it more and uh, like in particular, I think this tuft right here is just really successful okay, and yeah. then had it reach all the way down to like here where we okay. knew that this was a, a stand of trees yeah, that's yeah. unified, yeah. but it all just kind of like went away, which would pop this out even more. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So no, that'd why be good. So, so just fade it out and, and uh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Unified. Kind of, kind of yeah. like. Oh, and you know what I could do? I could hop back over here. Oh, that's right. And, and so, oh, what oh. was that other artist? That the guy with with the uh, shovel there. What, what, who, which artist is that? Who is that? Oh, you know what? It's terrible. It's one of my favorite paintings of all time, and I forget his name. Uh, okay. he, he he's not a, he's not a well known artist. Okay. Um, let me. I'm gonna <laughs> save this image. Yeah. Um, back to me. I guess probably the best way is i what i'll do is after our call sure i will um okay i'll go on the internet and i will um pop it into you can do a reverse image search okay. okay which is pretty cool because you can you can search for images by uploading the image itself and then it pops up the name okay so i actually use that all the time if you see the image and i fly past it um stop me there it is Uh, so I'll pull up a higher res and I'll send it over to you with the artist's name. Okay. He's French. He's from the north of uh, France. Okay. So um, the unification of that piece on the right is what really blows me away. Again, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not telling you this is how or what you want to paint yeah. or the, even the color scheme, none of it. It's, yeah. it's the unity of the pictorial yeah. statement. Yeah. Um, and the background there. Yeah, I, I, get, I got it. That's, that's really neat. And uh, yeah, using kind of one value. Yep. And, and that's where we as artists, I think we, for some reason, we think the success in painting is picking up on every single note yeah. and every single transition, whatever it might be. But yeah. as we mature as artists, we see that the inverse is probably true more often where yeah. it's about unifying and seeing things in unified yeah. blocks yeah. and simply, um, yeah. and that is success. So, um, yeah. 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 It's pretty much my thoughts. So good. 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 Maybe uh, next week we'll hop into um, this other painting, which. Yeah. And I want to work on that. I did this. This is just one shot. I did it really quickly. Um, and uh, I like the immediacy of it, but you know, it's, it's, uh, and I, and I think I might play with it a little bit. It's just, uh, just. Yeah. I, I think, I think it's worth like revisiting and then yeah. um, there's an artist who if you were ever interested in being um, introduced to her, I think that Nancy Boetti Randall would be wonderful for you to at some point study with. Okay. Um, and uh, so, wait, so I said that wow, too that. much. I want to show, show you to her and then say, if you were ever interested in studying, I don't like telling people who they should go study with. Yeah. Uh, I feel Is your like name Nancy B Bimuti or Nancy Randall? So it's Nancy Boetti Randall. She's um, okay. okay. But she, she just, 
I really love her work. So she lives in uh, Stony Brook. She lives right off Christian Avenue. Like she lives like two minutes from the jazz loft. Okay. Um, but she has a way of yeah. capturing, um, she has this painting, at, I believe she has a painting at, I think I saw it at Stony Brook Universe, uh, University Hospital. Okay, that's from And she has this way of like she's capturing, gorgeous. yeah, like, and she's a really, really cool person. Like, I mean, with all, with all of the, you know what, I'm just gonna say it this way, with all of the stuff that goes yeah. on up there, yeah she she remains always above the fray and she manages to um just paint and to enjoy painting like that's yeah, that's, that's it for her but that's she gorgeous. she has a nice she she really does things that i appreciate with um she has this is the series yeah wow these are things that i would never in a million years attempt yeah. Yeah. it's just makes my head explode i yeah, think this yeah. is in head of the harbor where she painted it but she uh -huh. she really captures it like i would never ever 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 try to paint that yeah. and she in my opinion she captured something of like almost the kiriko or um even it's between the world of the austrian secessionists <laughs> like it has like that that clint kind of patterning uh, yeah yeah you're right um, yeah I but love it's that. Yeah. It's also, it's yeah. also representative. Like I yeah. really, I admire her deeply. And uh, like I said, she is literally one of the nicest people in the art scene. Huh. And she, she has this beautiful barn and she teaches and paints out of okay. that barn. Okay. Um, so if you ever want okay, me to link hands, um, she, yeah. she reaches out to me every so often. Just, she just says hello. She's just such a sweet okay. person. Yeah. Me. So yeah good 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 wow 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 i mean you you could even if you wanted to um what i'll do is i'm going to uh i'll text you okay. um so now you have her contact information right here okay um and she'll get right back to you and just say hey kevin okay. was yeah. kevin was telling me that yeah. i should meet you and i guarantee you what she'll do is she'll invite you up to her okay um up to her barn okay I'll do and that. that yeah you guys can just like kind of yeah. meet and talk because you're kind of lewis like to be perfectly honest i'm saying this in an awesome way um when you do the avalon paths i can see that you're going into an area that my expertise like really drops off and mm -hmm. um you and i can work together for life and that would be my delight but if, if you are starting to see these new roads that you're going down yeah. um and I, as a teacher, feel myself unable to offer something. Yeah. I always want to be selfless and right. to say like, right. kind of like um, my violin teacher did. She knew I loved Irish music. She was a classical yeah. teacher. And she was like, I could teach you some Irish stuff. She's like, but you really need to go find an Irish fiddler. So I actually, yeah. what I did was I took classical and Irish. At, yeah. I would stagger them uh, yeah. one every other week. Yeah. Um, and I grew, it was cool. Like the two, they heightened yeah. each other. Um, so I guess well, that's yeah. what I'm saying to you. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. And, and I, I do intend to work with other artists and, and I think I would always like, to, and I think you're a master at the, at the figure. So I, I would always, I, I always want to introduce figure into my team. I, I, that's, that's my, that's my dream. So, so Mine yeah. Too. yeah, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Like even like your painting of James on the beach, because that's where my heart is. Like I literally like Tony Ann asked if I could come up to her house tomorrow. Um, I won't be able to, but, um, to, cause just to finish the painting of Liam, um, holding the, the net. I mean, that's where my heart is. And like, that's where you and I, I mean, if you want me to just be perfectly <laughs> like forward, I mean, I just want to work together with yeah. you for life on that. Like I would love to in 10 years, both yeah. of us be at Robert Moses beach with huge yeah. canvases, and yeah, the lifeguard fun. stand and it's five o'clock in the morning we're watching the sun like that's my yeah. dream is to have yeah perfect figures and stuff like that yeah yeah so well let's do it yeah, yeah. we'll do it we'll, we'll we see it. it yeah um yeah life um good well we'll uh thank you thanks so much yeah um 
and we'll see you next Monday. I yep. think that's the next plan here. Yeah, good, good. See you next Monday. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, may may everyone get healthy, especially Margaret. And it looks like your children are doing fine. Yeah, Margaret's already. Margaret looks great too. Yeah, good. She's good. Just for you. Yeah. But we're all good. All right. Thanks a lot, Kevin.